Hey YouTube, T9 here. A um, while back then I did some online reading and uh, um, researching for the latest and greatest gear. And um, on and off I go to this website. Um, it's, it's called Recoil Magazine, but I think their website is like recoilmag.web or something like that. Um, I'll post it below this video, but um, it's a website dedicated towards uh, tactical gear, AR-15 style weapons, uh, flashlights, that sort of stuff. And you know, um, they, they pretty much keep you up to beat on the latest stuff that's coming out. Anyways, they published an article about a holster now available for the uh, Caracol F handgun, which is a handgun I'm not too familiar with, but anyways, that holster, when I saw that picture, really got me intrigued and I really wanted one just because the fact it, it's, it was just different, different than all the other holster. It's a Kydex holster, it's a clear Kydex holster. And um, don't get all excited, it's not one of those plastic looking clear Kydex, Kydex holsters. I know there's a lot of news out there on, on, on uh, clear uh, Kydex and uh, breaking too easy and all that stuff, but um, this one looked different and I definitely um, one of my hands on one of those so I contacted the um, I'm pretty sure he's the owner um, of the uh, of that company that makes these holsters and it's Stephen McElroy of RKBA holsters um, we talked a little bit and uh, sure enough a couple weeks in the mail and um, I finally have my holster and I'll Decide to give you guys a quick, quick review, a quick look, and see what you think about this holster. So it's from my Glock 17, uh, which is pretty cool because let me just put this down. You guys can take a look at it. Um, going on their website, they actually don't have an option for Glock 17 on the clear Kydex holster. So um, I did contact him, and he sure enough made it happen for me. And if you guys go on the website, I will post it underneath this video, and you don't see an option for your weapon, just contact him. Uh, give him, send him an email, give him a phone call. I'm pretty sure he can work with you. He's a good guy, and um, the product is outstanding, as you guys can tell in a second here. Um, so here it is. Like I said, it's not really a see-through um, clear Kydex. It's, 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 it's more of this frosted finish yet you can still see your weapon in it and um, I think it's just something different um, I really like it I like you know I, I do have a lot of regular Kydex holsters but I just wanted something different for when I go to a range maybe go to a, a few defensive shooting classes um, you know fun matches IDPA you know that it's nice to have something that is a little bit different and sure enough this holster will do it it's it's a great holster. Let me let me start off on the on the um, on the back here. So these loops are made out of Kydex as well. At first I was kind of um, well, doesn't that kind of push the weapon further away from the body and not really close to it? But trust me, um, on their website it says uh, on underneath the Kydex holster options. It says it has a 15 degree canned forward and it's made to pull the weapon close to the body. And I'm gonna pull, um, I'm gonna blend them some videos up here in a second, a video of me wearing this holster and trust me, it is kind of bizarre. It's actually how close this holster actually um, pulls the weapon towards the body. Um, when I did some dry fire exercises earlier the draw is almost like you drawing your weapon out of an inside the waistband holster that's how close it is um, I'm not too sure how they did it I'm pretty sure it's because the way the holster itself is is curved which um, really it does pull it does pull the weapon close to the body um, I thought it's also great for um, doing IPSEC and IDPA matches um, or 
concealed carry defensive shooting sort of classes because um, they require you to bring a holster that is um, well concealed with a shirt or a sweater or that sort of thing. Um, so let me jump back to the holster itself. Um, let me pull that Glock out again. The loops are attached, these Kydex loops are attached by two screws, which have, I can, it feels like they have rubber washers in between here. Um, you can probably, you can loosen them, as you can tell, you can loosen them up with the, uh, with an Allen wrench, a small Allen wrench, and I believe you can change the can slightly by choosing either the, the upper or the lower option here. Um, these two on the bottom are probably just there to um, to keep the kydex together. However, the way the, the gun is canted and the way it's right now fitted, it's perfect for me. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to change a thing. Um, wouldn't want to change a thing. It's very sturdy. Looks like it. Feels like it. Not looks like it. it feels like it as well. Um, retention on this holster. Now this is not a loaded gun, but who's gonna um, who's gonna go to the shooting range upside down doing handstands? The retention is it's it's pretty good. There's no option to change the retention, but um, you don't need that. If the retention is fairly good. So uh, what I'm gonna do is let me let me blend in a couple of videos here. Let me move this to the side and put a couple of videos up here where you guys can see how the holster looks being worn. And as you guys can tell, the um, it pulls the gun very close to the body, um, which makes this a great option for everyday carry if you um, choose it for your smaller, smaller everyday carry gun. Um, instead of inside the waistband, with this holster option, I'm pretty sure you can get away with outside the waistband, and um, it will be even more comfortable than those inside the waistband holsters. Um, I'm gonna look into it. I might contact him again and see if he can make me one of these for the uh, Springfield XDS. Uh, uh, as you guys know, that's the latest um, concealed weapon gun that came out, and and it's my latest purchase and it's my everyday carry gun. And um, having a great outside the waistband option would be uh, optimal. So as you guys can saw, as you guys saw in the video. Um, carries quite well it's very comfortable I haven't worn it for hours at a time I'm gonna see if I can do that um, maybe maybe today I'll take it out but I'm I'm fairly confident in in the comfort and of this holster so like mentioned before clear kydex holster definitely something different and I can't wait to show this off at the range um, see what see if people notice see what people say um, because I definitely haven't seen it at the local gun range or um, at any sort of uh, defensive cl shooting class or IDPA matches, that sort of. Um, so like I said before, here's his business card. I'm going to post all the info down below the video. Um, he also has different options, like he, he makes leather um, holsters as well. Just go on the website, do some browsing, um, different patterns on Kydex and the quality is outstanding um, he doesn't make the holster until you order it so that that tells you that there's this true a true custom built after your needs um, especially when he made this for my glock 17 which was not an option on his website um, he went out of the way to make me one of those great guy and stop by his website with that being said my short Clear Kydex holster review from RKBA holsters. Um, I hope it's RKBA holsters. Yep, it is. And uh, with that being said, T9 signing out.